All right, we're gonna go through using the as-built mapping on this D71 here. So da, 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 let's start. If we go to our, I like to go here first, display options, as-built surface. Just make sure you set these, the numbers you're happy with. I like to have the green about within about a tenth, so you could change that to 20 and it would be a tenth. So that's probably the way I'm gonna roll there. Offset, I'm not gonna worry about it. that's my cut fill. Pass counts, it just, the more you roll over it, the darker the color gets, um, that doesn't really change. But I like to have that set just so I know my green's within a tenth. Once I have that set, um, once this menu goes away, you'll see. If you don't have this button up here, if you enable that, if you go to view, display options, you go to shortcuts, you can toggle as built mode and check that on. But you'll see once we have that button back, that will allow us to toggle between pass counts, none, and cut fill. You can also do that in your active. In the as built down here, you can do it as well down there. So as we start to drive around, it's gonna start mapping our cut fill. Um, and then from there, once that's complete, once we have our mapping, what we're gonna do is if you come into control, there's as built control. See, so we have this layer, Bulk Earthworks, that's set up. You can actually create a new layer and name it. Um, you know, you'd have different layers of, so you can do one for each day, theoretically. We're gonna do one all on one map and leave it on Bulk Earthworks. Once you're on that, in this advanced, you have uh, a height and the pass count. So if you look down here, it has an export button. And it exports this as a GD3 file. I. Yeah, I'd love someone in the comments to, that's messed with this more uh, to get that to work. I can't ever get any as-built surface files to come in here, even after I've, I've mapped some areas. So I may be missing a step. I don't know. I haven't really worked with the GD3 file, so I'm not sure what that's all about. I'm going to show you the way we've been doing it. So that's our different layers, if you will, for our as-built data. So what we decided to do is once you get your as-built data, from driving around you can come into file go to surfaces and we can do new and there's this triangulated surface from as built and so we've just been doing that at the end of the day and we just name it the date so um, I'm just gonna call it just for video sake here so then you can convert the current as built to attendance 10 design surface and then we've been doing a grid of five just because it's a nice clean number. And then it'll create a surface in our project surfaces. Uh, there, I don't believe there's a good way to export just that surface, but we just grab the TP3 off of here and then we can compare all those DXFs and get a quantity for each day and for the week. Um, so pretty easy way to do it. If, Like I said, just experiment around with this a little bit. If you guys have better ideas, put them in the comments. Uh, I'd be happy to learn from you who have probably dealt with this a little more than me but uh yeah pretty cool little handy deal for guys being able to track their quantities and have a documentation of it pretty easy way to go um i can i'm gonna say very here i'm gonna go ahead i'll back up a little bit just so you can see the mapping close my windows up here give me just one second don't forget the ripper Alright. Zoom in a little bit here. So you can see I'm an area of cut up here. So this is track mapping. This is not the blade, so I can have the blade up in the air. So you can just see everywhere I go it's gonna paint. Give me a nice photo. So it helps as an operator to see where you at the you know where's on grade especially like this job's got a big fill down here we're gonna be working in so sorry i'm a little bouncy but come down the hill there so you can see it'll paint that paint that as we move around and yeah so you can toggle and then say that thing's getting bothersome you know um so there you can see the pass counts you see us mapping the tracks and then you can obviously toggle it off if it's getting in the way of you seeing stuff so it comes right back on 
for some reason if you wanted to if you go to as built control go to advanced you can reset that map but that will clear all your as built data so depend on how you want to manage it you can clear it every day or you can leave it on there it's, it's going to be up to you but just be aware that's how you clear it um, like i said you can create you can create a bunch of different layers under here. I typically just stick with the bulk earthworks because it's there. But if you had different things that you wanted to do as built on, you could create those in different layers. So there you go. So let us know if you have questions or you got any better ideas than me. Thanks.